September the 6th, 2019. Guys, you're looking as the Eye of Dorian is passing off the tip of Cape Hatteras. That, the Eye of that storm has been inside the uh, Outer Banks a couple of times overnight. What you're seeing now is flash flood warnings pop up. You've had uh, storm surge, you've had tides, rain. Now with the heavier bands, again, these are associated with the eye wall. And keep an eye on this uh, up in Norfolk, Virginia, guys. And this is a webcam from out on the uh, Outer Banks, guys. I think this is Nax head. Now, what the camera will back up and uh, it will focus a little better. But you can see very um, strong waves. You can see the wind and things like that. We may not have a lot of beach uh, damage as far as homes. I'm not talking about beach erosion. But since it is a Cat 1, it, the stronger winds have slowed down. And that will help. But a Cat 1 can do enough damage by itself to uh, knock out your power and your flooding, throw up the tornadoes, throw up the flash flood watches and warnings and thunderstorm warnings. But right now, as the storm is pulling off, it's going to be separating itself from being so close to the eastern coast and but again virginia north of there you've got to watch it and this thing's going to end up up in halifax pops uh, possibly still a cat one guys so you watch it in that area too all along the east coast though you're going to feel cat one type winds you're going to have rip currents i'm talking about all the way up the east coast and you, it's going to be dangerous swimming. People, will, if they don't pay attention to it, they're going to get caught in these rip currents, and you're going to lose them. It's already happening. Now, the um, guys, the situation down in the Bahamas is it looks like a nuclear bomb was dropped in areas, and they are dealing with looting, people robbing them with uh, with guns for food, the, where they can find it complete chaos and they're in terror in a lot of people in a lot of places excuse me as these people are trying to get and fly it out or and some of the cruise lines are trying to get back in there they're bringing food and water i'm sure they're going to be taking people back but it's it has gone into chaos in many places the haitian village there they call the mud um had is pretty much gone and I th most of these were immigrants from Haitia from hurricanes before and devastating earthquakes and things like that. And so that area is gone. And the people, there's a lot of folks there that rely on the tourist industry. You know, you've got the big carnival ships coming in and the big cruise ships and, er and different things like that. And so you have tourist industries, hotels, everything. And these people, their entire um, way of life is gone. They're saying some people are wandering around the streets like zombies, just wondering what to do. They may have just the clothes on their back. There's no shelter. They've got a few places uh, in, elevate, in areas that were not struck as hard, but these people are saying it is chaos. Point is, that can happen on a much larger scale, guys. Just pay attention to that as a, a microcosm of what could become a macrocosm with the way this um, we've seen the weather going in the uh, drought and the crop loss. But you're looking at the uh, five-day graphic uh, tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center, 70% chance of that storm right there, disturbance number two of development in five days. And it's moving almost the identical path that we watched Dorian come in. Notice we have a small system right in front of that. I'm going to do another video up uh, later this afternoon about the entire Atlantic. There's no major threats now, but uh, this one will be more than likely the next event we have to pay attention to. And uh, if you're like me, we're all storm weary, believe me. But when people's lives are on the line, you do what you got to do. So we're watching it, guys. So I'm, what I'm again, my point up in the uh, North Carolina, Virginia area. Just watch as the heat of the day comes up on these bands and keep your eyes open for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms. So heads up, be safe.